Welcome to Wild Breakaway. I'm Audra Martin, joined by Wes Walls. For the second time in as many games, the Minnesota Wild fall 2-1 to one in overtime. This time it was to the Arizona Coyotes, who were on a five-game losing streak themselves. So, unfortunately, that comes to an end with a win for them at the hands of the Minnesota Wild. Yeah, I thought the Arizona Coyotes did exactly what they needed to do. They, uh, they needed to, to, to kind of clog up the neutral zone, very similar to what the Colorado Avalanche did uh, up in Colorado um, a couple nights ago. It made it difficult for the Wild to get through the neutral zone. Uh, but when the Wild did get in the offensive zone, I thought they had a lot of zone time. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for the Wild, they, they had a lot of opportunities to make it 2-0. And the Phoenix, or, uh, Arizona team probably would have went away. They hit a couple posts um, and then scored a goal late in the second period to get them back into the game and, and grabbed a little bit of momentum. And then a little bit of tough luck, obviously, in the, uh, in the overtime with a bad bounce and a 4-on-3 goal. Well, here's a look at the final stats from tonight's game. The Wild able out shooting Arizona all night long. But that redesigned power play could not make it happen tonight going 0 for 4. That power play was one of the big focuses of practice on Tuesday. The other was 3 on 3 overtime. And ironically, tonight they fell in overtime on 4 on 3. Here's what Mike Yo had to say about that. Yeah, uh, there's, you know, that, that stuff's going to happen. But. Uh, yeah. Again, I, th I think that I think the game was there for us earlier in the game. Unfortunately, we put ourselves in the box too many times in the third period. And like I said, we kind of got away from things in the, in the in the second period that led that led it all up to that point. So now the Wild to finish up back-to-back -back games on the road in San Jose tomorrow night facing the Sharks, who now are the only team left in the league without a win in December. So a good opportunity to pick up two big points. Yes, and their best player, Logan Couture, is out of the lineup tomorrow night. Uh, lower body injury, just had surgery. He's, it looks like he's going to be out for an extended period. So to, to have their... Uh, best player out of the lineup is a nice break for the Minnesota Wild tomorrow night for sure. We'll see if they can make it happen tomorrow night. We'll see you a while live. In the meantime, thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.